All right, um, I'm gonna now show you in this video how to use PowerPoint to trace over pretty much any image you want uh, using just one tool. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get an image from the internet. Now, just so you know, what's really good about this tool is actually, if you're not very good at drawing, it's obviously very useful to trace over images and then you can kind of customize those images, you can change them to whatever you want. Uh, this is a technique I quite like using when making images. So I'm gonna paste my image. Um, I've got the WWE logo from the internet. Uh, I've pasted it in using Command and V. Uh, you can paste it on your Windows computer using Control and V. Right, so here's my logo. I'm gonna now recreate this so I can change the colors of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Insert. Now on Shapes, under lines, I'm going to go to freeform. Okay. Now, uh, with freeform, I'm going to click a point on here, and I'm just going to draw my line. And you don't have to hold it; you can move your mouse anywhere, and you can see this line just follows you. And I'm going to click on the corner of every point. Um, of this larger W. Again, I'm I'm moving pretty quickly here, so uh, I might not be accurate. And there you go. It's now created that for me. That's the first one done. I'm going to now do it again. Shapes, freeform. There we go. So I'm moving very quickly again, so I might not be hitting um, the points as perfectly as I should if I was more careful. Okay. Um, and now I'll go to this sort of red strike. Now it might be really easy, to, it might be really obvious, sorry, to just do a strike across the whole W, but actually I see that as three separate shapes. So I should go to insert shapes. Go over to freeform again. Now, one of the big challenges we're going to have is that we're actually dealing with a curve. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just very slowly click through this shape, um, kind of moving the line around. So it's not so while I'm using straight lines, it's not so straight that it isn't making a curve. Um, and that's how you uh, can create curves with the freeform tool. I'm really happy with that. Let me just outline a little bit. Move that way a little bit. It's a bit, bit out of place. Okay, I'm happy with that so far. Um, and now I'm going to do it again. Shapes, freeform. Uh, use that. That's not very, it sounds not very curvy over here. Okay, you see the bottom line's kind of curved a little bit, but again, it's fairly straight. I have to be honest, it was, that's obviously not very perfect. Um, I have intentionally picked a fairly straight tool here, um, largely because the freeform tool on PowerPoint is not the best uh, for making curves, but if you're patient, you can actually create some curves. Uh, you can see I have actually created some curves here. Um, and there we go. And there we go. Okay. I'm actually going to move that out of the way. Um, I am going to now customize it. So I can double tap my uh, or just click shape format. Um, I'm going to make it, uh, I make it green, I think. Green looks cool. Yeah, and then these are gonna be uh, I don't know, I'm gonna purple. I don't know. What an ugly logo. Uh, okay, so there you go. That is that. One thing I've noticed though is the W, both the Ws actually, they have a shadow behind them. The red stripe doesn't. So I'm actually gonna add that shadow. Double tap or click shape format when you click the green. Go over to this button here, which is like used to add effects, shade effects. Um, the shadow kind of goes around the thing. I'm going to try and use this one here, bottom. 
Um, and we'll do it again over here, bottom. You can see it's got the shadow, but it's not as impactful or as large as a shadow on the WWE logo. And that's fine. We go over to shadow uh, and we click shadow options. The issue here is the size. I mean, the size is a bit, a bit larger. Okay, make it a bit blurrier. Now that looks a lot more like it actually. Um, again, I'm going to go over to the effects, the shadow, make it larger, and just make it blurrier. Now I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, one final thing is there's no outline on the W's, so I need to remove the outlines. Oh, so no outline. There we go. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I mean, I'll be honest, I picked terrible colours, uh, but there you go. Um, I've just remade the WWE logo, um, just like that. And that's everything you need to know about tracing over an image in PowerPoint.